Hi there. This is a brand new section. Here we are going to talk about recursion. Firstly, let's identify what recursion is. By definition, it's a way of solving a problem by having a function call itself. In computer science, it's a method of solving a problem where the solution depends on the solution to the smaller instance of same problem. Such problems can generally be solved by iteration as well. A real-life example for recursion can be a Russian nesting doll. Hopefully, you have seen a set of Russian dolls. If not, this is the picture how it looks like. At first, you just see a one figure, usually painted wood, that looks like this. If you remove the top half of this doll, you see another slightly smaller Russian doll inside it. You can remove this doll from here and again separate its top and bottom halves, here again you will see another smaller doll. And if you do it once more, you will see another smaller one. And we can keep going until we find the smallest Russian doll. It is just one piece, so it does not open. As you see, a Russian doll is a sequence of similar dolls inside each other that can be opened but every time the size gets smaller and smaller. Each time you open a doll, a smaller version of doll will be inside, and you repeat the process until you reach the final doll that cannot be opened. Here, if you think of this big doll as a problem, you can see that the, the problem gets the smaller instance of the same problem until we solve it. So this technique, Making the problem smaller and smaller is called recursion. There are many properties of recursion. So let's see properties of recursion based on this real life example. So here, our example of Russian dolls confirm with the main properties of recursion. So the first property is performing the same operation multiple times with different inputs. So we perform this process of opening Russian dolls multiple times and every time we open it with different size of dolls, which means that the input is different. So first we start from the bigger one, then we continue to the which is smaller, then again we open the smaller one and this continues like this. So here we open 10 different size of Russian dolls. As you notice that the process of opening all these doors is always the same. That's why in the property of recursion it says the same operation is being performed. So our operation here was opening Russian doors. Now the second property of recursion is in every step we try smaller inputs to make the problem smaller. Similarly in the case of opening Russian doors we try to make the problem smaller. First we open the big doll again, and then the next smaller, and then, then the next smaller, and so on. Now you might be interested why we are making the problem smaller. Because every time we make the problem smaller, this makes it easier to find the solution at the end. Which is the smallest Russian doll at the end, that does not contain any other one. This is the solution for this problem. Finally, the last property of recursion is that, Base condition is needed to stop recursion, otherwise infinite loop will occur. Basically, the base condition is the condition after that we will not do any more recursion. We will stop the recursion because we either would have found the answer or the answer does not exist. In the case of Russian dolls, we open the first one, then the second one, then the third one, until we reach the one which is the smallest one. So we have to mention that when we reach the smallest one that cannot be opened, we need to stop here. Now you might be interested, what if we don't provide a base condition? In this case, the system will not know when to stop recursion and this will lead to infinite loop. So no one wants to get inside an infinite loop because you will not, never come out of it. There are even a lot of programming jokes about infinite loop. The one that I like most is a programmer's wife tells him as he leaves the house, while you are out, buy some milk. He never returns home and the universe runs out of milk. <laughs>
you see that she hasn't provided base condition here that's why her husband is gone <laughs> for forever so hopefully you understand all purposes of recursion so let's convert this russian doll example into the code so we can express it in the computer science so our code for this russian doll example will be like this here we provide base condition as when the doll equals one so all dolls are open so here i took as a one the smallest one which cannot be open otherwise every time we are calling this same function with one smaller and opening each doll so let's recap what we have learned here so here we have learned that by definition recursion is way of solving problem by having a function to call itself and we provided real example of russian dolls which makes the understanding the logic of recursion easy so that's all for this lecture hopefully you understand the logic behind the recursion in case you still have problems understanding the recursion you don't need to worry about this because we will talk about it in a lot more details in the next videos so see you there